So this was a while ago. I think that this is 14 months ago now, this video, but I want to talk about it for in regards to what we were just talking about, comparing politicians and comparing mindsets with different countries. Uh, so this is 14 months ago, but I also wanted to just have this on record on my channel for showing this, how insane this is, how insane the last eight years have been here in Canada. So this is a video of our favorite guy. Actually, I'm a fan of Justin Trudeau. And you might say, what? All you do is shit talk him all day. That is true. But Justin Trudeau has been great for Bitcoin in Canada. You look at, there's a lot of uh, very, I don't know what you'd call them, influential people in Bitcoin from Canada, a lot of them. And if you look at the Google searches, we're right up there with like some of the very poor countries in terms of trying to get away from your dollar. So this man here has actually done, has been the best marketer here in Canada. He's done a much better job than I have on this channel in terms of getting people to open their mind to Bitcoin. So his opponent, Pierre Polivier, which I'm not a huge fan of, but he would be a better alternative than Trudeau. But he came out 14 months ago and told people to buy Bitcoin. And at this time, the price of Bitcoin was about, that was right at the low, pretty much $17,000, $18,000. $18, and then Trudeau said this. So let's watch this video. I want this to be on my channel forever. <laughs> it actually makes me physically ill to listen to this man talk or man whatever you want to call him i don't wouldn't call him that this person so it says 14 months ago justin trudeau mocked pierre polivier for telling people to buy bitcoin bitcoin is up 215,000 percent no 215 percent sorry feels like 215,000 percent here we go so beyond having a plan to make people mad and amplify and reflect back that anger we haven't really seen a lot of concrete proposals from Mr. Polyev. I mean, he, he, he did make one, that's not fair, you're right. He had one great opp opportunity for people to opt out of inflation. He recommended this last, last spring. <laughs> you can opt out of inflation if you invest your money in Bitcoin. Yeah, no, 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 he stayed up late, watched all sorts of YouTube videos and came to that conclusion. He said that himself. <laughs> Buy Bitcoin, opt out of inflation. Well, any Canadian who actually listened to it, maybe that's why those guys with the flags are so mad at me. Any Canadian who listened to him would have lost more than half their life savings since last March. That's not responsible leadership. So beyond having a plan to make... It's not that's not what I needed to see this morning, honestly. I didn't I didn't need any more stimulation. Okay, so three a couple things there. The first one, he mocks Pierre for saying that he stayed up late watching YouTube videos. And I feel like that's something kind of along the lines of like conspiracy theorists. They they almost look at that in a negative way, that people are educating themselves in on YouTube. Because what's the alternatives if you want to learn something? You go to the school system, you go to college, you go to university. Guess who's paying for that? That guy. You want to listen to some news, catch up on what's going on in the world? Guess who's paying for that? That guy. So, yeah, I, I understand why people are looking on YouTube for, for information because all the things that come out of the state-funded programs are complete bullshit. And people are aware of that now. So that's the first part. What else was there? What else did he say in there? There's a couple things. So he, then he said that any, any Canadian who actually listened to Pierre was lost half of their life savings. So they just lost half of their life savings. If even if they had the Bitcoin still, they, they lost it. No, they lost the value of it compared to a completely illusionary currency that you dish out all day and take for yourself. But unless they actually sold it, they didn't lose anything. 
And if they waited, and if they, the, <laughs> uh, this, this is going to be pretty poetic today, I think, when, when I cut off my backup channel and then I get kicked off of my main channel here. But uh, it's, it's pretty poetic there, the whole thing. And I think that the best advice you can, you can take from anything on this channel, the best advice you can ever take from this channel is that whatever guys like Justin Trudeau say, if you do the exact opposite of that, you're going to do pretty well in life. That's it. Very simple. Whatever they're telling you to do, do the exact opposite of that, and you're going to do pretty well for yourself. So that was Justin Trudeau. He hasn't, he hasn't commented on Bitcoin since then, and I wonder why.